Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be looking at mixing ABS and ASA. So I was a little bit surprised at this one. So the um, the uh, ABS hips actually turned out pretty good because they're kissing cousins. And this started out actually pretty good, but when it got to the top, it got a little bit more problematic. And I'm thinking it had a little bit to do with the printing temperature. Now, this one I printed at 230, and I thought this was okay. It's a little bit low, I think, for ASA. But it seemed to start out okay, but then it sort of went all Willy Wonkers at the top, and I'm guessing it's temperature. So I'm thinking that with a little bit of tuning that we could probably fix this. Now, I didn't put the effort into going and tuning it and doing a couple different prints like I did. Um, you know with the pet g and abs because again these these are pretty close together and i'm making the assumption that it was really sort of a colder extrusion uh, at the top that created the problem but it does seem to be mixable and the uh, structure seems to be really solid so this is one i could be a little bit interested in but i, I would kind of think that asa would be as strong if not maybe a little bit stronger than abs so I have done some uh, overlays, and you can see the time lapses with the others, but uh, I think this is a close mix. Now, the other pieces, you know, um, with all of this, one of the things, if you want to kind of get into this and try to fine-tune this a little bit more, is really kind of messing with the flow rates. I, I think, it, you know, kind of experimenting if one wanted to get into it. You know, if you could bump up the flow rates on one of the extruders over the other and kind of balance things a little bit differently and also take into account maybe the viscosity of each one of the filaments, you could kind of get this to work a little bit better. Again, my effort here is really just to see in an unscientific way what happens when you mix the streams. So now I have played a little bit with the temperatures and as I've gone through all these you know I've learned a thing or two. I have not tried to tune the layer fans or do any type of over tuning really to try to improve this. I just want to see first off what happens and, and this is what you get. But I think this is actually a pretty good start. Now um, you know one of the kind of interesting things you can see that there's more the uh, ASA is white, so it's, it's lighter over here than it is yellow over here. So again, we see the synchronicity or the lack of synchronicity in the extruder. So it seems like, you know, you get a push of a ASA, you get a push of ABS, you don't get a real solid mix. And I think this is why I ran into problems up here, because the throws between the two extruders, I think, became closer up here than it, than it was down here at the bottom. Just sort of my guess, but I think it's a pretty educated one at that. Uh, you can see a little darkness in here. It took a long time to push the hips out of the uh, uh, hot end, even though I did, you know, be before I run any of these, I, I removed the one and pushed the other one through until it primes and I see it come out. So there must have been still some pretty good amount of hips um, in, the, uh, in the hot end. So anyways, ASA, ABS, this is what you get. Eh, so-so on, on the outcome. So hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe bell over there. Swag shop up there. And hey, we'll see you in the next video where we mix something else. Cheers, guys. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.